Hello everybody. Well, here we are after a week and a half of massive trouble. Uh, we are back. The connection seems to stay online, which is making sense since it is a fiber optic connection. We are at ramp number 40 at Chengdu Chongliu Airport in China. And today we are going to Osh, uh, Shishuangbana Gasa Airport, also in China. Um, we are going to take off in a minute from runway 20 left, which is quite a taxi. Um, yeah, and that is what we are about to do. In the distance we have Freddy Hap and I think he chose the wrong airport because he has been stationary there for about 20 minutes now. Let's have a quick look around. Uh, there's nobody else of the guys in the area. So, let's go and set up the aircraft. It is still a uh, pitch black dark cockpit. Let's start activating stuff and get out of here. This is going to be our last flight in China, by the way. For a good while. Because after this one, we are going to uh, Laos, Indonesia, Australia, a whole bunch more. And then we're going to come back because taking off from um, anywhere within Australia in a Cessna 172. And going to Canada is going to require fuel somewhere. So yeah, that is uh, what we're about to do. And you, the viewer... You are about to witness the last flight for a good long while. Let's start the prop. <coughs> that way we don't drain the batteries. We will be flying at 8000 initially. Let's punch that in. And we have the option to go to 12,000. Uh, currently, there is no ATC online. I just checked. So, 1 to 2 decimal 8 for us. And let's hope some of the people in the area are actually on the VATSIM network. That would be great. Now, transponder. Uh, it's going to go on, of course. Uh, the code will be 1200 zero zero because we're not in America and we did not get one from ATC. Here we go. Then, when we arrive in 542 nautical miles, uh we're going to go to one one zero decimal three as our ILS frequency. The backup is one zero eight decimal five. I doubt we need it, but we're going to find out. Anywho um Looking out, there is absolutely no way we're going to make a successful turn here. So let's request a pushback for a bit. I'm kind of hoping we... Yeah, here he comes. Did I take off the parking brake? It's going to be hard push. Yes, it is off. Nice. The 
then there are people active on discord and then there's a whole lot of people not active on discord will you look at that that stupid Gary is mauling himself again why would you run into a prop like that you utter utter nitwit Actually, you know what? Stop touching my plane. Get away. Get away. Shoo. Get away. That's about it. Go. Now. Nit with Gary has gone. Uh, we're going to make a U-turn, uh, taxi out to the runway, and then we're going to take off. Agreed. It is a long taxi, but how about we simply start doing it? There's not going to be any other way to get out of here, so we kind of sort of have to taxi out to the runway. Good lord, will you look at that. Anybody else in the area? Yes, there is. How about we give right of way? China Airways 5759 is obviously appreciating me. It seems he is also slowing down. Where is he going? All right, we're going to follow him. gonna follow him all the way to the end of the runway and then we're going to take off hmm. sounding pretty good there he's breaking for some reason Unicom on the Fatsim network. Good morning. This is Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. How do you read? Radio check, please. I doubt there's going to be a lot of people responding because it is very early in China today.
Oh, shoo! Get away! Here we go. All the way to the end of the runway, make a U-turn, and then we are going to come back. Oh shoot. There is somebody on tower. Not our tower, but a tower. 118 decimal 8. So let's punch that one in. 118 decimal 8. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's listen into them. What is their name? Tian Fu Tower. Okay. Let's give him a call. Tian Fu Tower, Pop Hotel, Bravo Victilima, radio check, please. Thank you. Anytime. So something is up because the response from tower came through the wrong uh, speakers. Let's try that again. Tianfu Tower, uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima again with the same uh, request. Radio check please because we have some trouble. Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima Roger and Radio 5x5 as well. Now at least this time we got him on the correct speakers. So let's thank him. Chianfu Tower, Papa Hotel, Bravo Victilima, thanks you for the uh, response. And by the way, as we are live on YouTube right now, what would you like to say to YouTube, sir? Uh, Papa Hotel, Bravo Victilima, sorry, are you saying you are on a live stream on YouTube? Affirmative. Uh, you are live on YouTube right now. Oh, hello, the audience in your channel. Go check it out, sir. Uh, it's my full name. Just punch it into YouTube and you can see. No problem. Uh, I will check it right now. Much appreciated. Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. Taxiing out to the runway. Uh, Two zero left. Uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Vector Gima and I will follow you on YouTube. And uh, by the way, you are not in my controller space, so please monitor your income on one to designate and uh, taxi on your own navigation. Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima monitoring one to two decimal eight Unicom and taxiing on own uh, discretion. After we have taken off, we will be in your airspace, sir. Uh, so we are going to get close to each other. Uh, Papa Hotel Bravo, Vector Lima. I think your destination is Zulu Papa Julia Hotel. So actually, you will not pass in my airspace. What a bummer, I thought we were going to pass it, um, but okay, at least we got the radio check finalized. Yeah, it's great to see you and welcome to Fly in China. Sir, we've been here for weeks and I'm enjoying myself a lot. Yeah.
Okay, so that is that bit out of the way. Flaps checked. Did I just miss a turn? I did. I did miss a turn. So let's go left here without tipping over. Get back onto the taxiway instead of uh, <coughs> parking lanes. And then make a U somewhere because it is going to be a long flight, no matter how you look at it. Uh, we're also going to be flying for quite a long time. So let's get out of here. We don't need all uh, two kilometers of runway. Oh, come on, you joystick. Will you respond in time, please? All right, so at the runway. Let's talk to Unicom for a little bit. Unicom, good afternoon, Papa Hotel, Bravo Victor Lima, taking off of uh, runway 20 left, 20 left, Chengdu Shangliu Airport, Zulu, uniform, uniform, uniform. Folks, here we go. Here we don't go. We got another turn to make, apparently. What's that sound? Nothing going on. We can make a high speed takeoff happen right here. High speed, as in, let's not just tip over just yet, speed. But that's about it. Here's the runway, the correct one. Let's go! Kind of figure that Freddy is already in the air, so let's try and catch up with him. Pull up the flaps. And no, Freddy is still stationary for some reason. But we are climbing. What? Intermediates? That is Freddy down there. Not sure what he is doing, but let's give him a wake up call. Freddy, abandon ye die drinks and get airborne. That is kamikaze there. Well, that should have waken him up. Woken him up. And if it isn't, 
Well, in that case we're going to continue anyway. He is not yet on Discord either. Well, uh, he is on Discord but not on Discord voice. Autopilot. Oh shoot. Let's set the correct heading for a little bit. Uh, we are going south-ish. So let's go there. Come on now. And right now... GPS should be able to take over and we are going to use FLC flight level change to work on our altitude of 8000 initially Freddy it's just like that uh, uh, oh Freddy is taking off in a hurry as if he has been waiting for us Here he's coming. And I think that Freddy's got his afterburners on again. He is really holding it. Mind you, he's got the same Cessna as I have. He took off later and he's already ahead. Ooh, mama, I don't know what he's got in his fuel tanks, but it sure is not a uh, lemonade. Hey there everybody on Discord, please join me on the voice channel. Now looking at the flight plans, I think that 8000 initially is enough to fly, but in a good while, and that is a massive good while, we could get into a slight bit of bother by some mountain peaks right here and beyond and after that there's a couple more so I may have to deviate from the route somewhere around here and simply turn left then head south because then we are able to get past the mountain peaks then roughly here 
near uh, Delta Julia Tango get back onto the route because then things are going lower 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 we will be going slower 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 because of the ILS landing so yeah that is about the plan and we just heard a pudding which means that somebody has joined us on discord Mr. Freddy Hap, sir, how are you doing today? In theory, he can hear me. Freddy, can you hear me? Uh-oh. Not sure what is going on right there. Let me check my settings real quick. Uh, both are set to the headset, both the sound and the uh, microphone, so that should be okay. Let's give stuff a test, and when we start talking during a test, I can hear myself. So that is oh, okay. <coughs> Let's not do that again during a live show, shall we? Mr. Freddy Hab, can you hear me? Now, who else is in the skies? There's a whole lot of nobody here. I was kind of expecting Lord Hart to be here as well. But apparently not. Okay. Well. Let's leave it at that. Ooh. We are actually have some comments here. Uh, Yehoshua Dov says, hey. And uh, Fang Yui Meng says, greeting from uh, Zulu Uniform Tango Foxtrot Tower. Well, thank you, sir. And glad you found the channel. Zulu Uniform Tango Foxtrot Tower. Good afternoon. Papa Hotel Brava Victor Lima. Thank you for finding our channel. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Opening Chrome will crash this stream. Hooy! That was close. Since the last update, Chrome uses over one gigabyte of memory. And, uh, well, let's just say when it comes to RAM memory, I'm not really well endowed in this computer. So I'm looking for options to expand that. And hopefully get a bit more power. That is what we need. Power! Speaking of which, uh, we are well past 5000. So let's lean the mixture a little bit. And you can immediately hear the engine rev up. Because that also wants the power. It is! 223.7 nautical miles to the first waypoint. Uh, let's be honest, that is quite a while away. And in the meanwhile, we got some gorgeous landscape to look at, as well as the startings of a couple mountains. Oh shoot, I was calling to that guy just earlier on Unicom and not on his own 
frequency. I. So let's try that again. Need to click here. Tianfu Tower, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. I want to thank you for uh, finding my uh, YouTube channel. Bravo, uh, correction, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima, you are welcome and uh, uh, just want to say hi to your audience in your, in your channel and hope you enjoy your flights with your captain, which is a YouTuber and hope you have a great time in China. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. Bye-bye. Oh, we are having a great time in here, sir, because China is lovely scenery. Just lovely. It is, sir. And uh, again, welcome to China and hope to, hope to see you next time. And by the way, what is your next, what is your next leg? Let me go and find out, sir. All right. Uh, the next leg is uh, Zulu Papa Juliet Hotel to uh, Victor Tango Bravo Sierra Suvernumi Airport. I think that is somewhere in Indonesia. Oh, I see. So it is your last leg in China. We've been here for weeks, sir. Oh, Roger. And uh, I guess you will have uh, another great time <coughs> in Indonesia. Sorry, in Malaysia or is in Indonesia? Uh, you may want to take a good look at the uh, YouTube channel because even though I did have some video trouble, I did make an extra flight and trying to finding uh, the Great Wall of China. Roger, have a nice time, sir. Same to you, sir. Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. Pretty incredible. We're still live. There's no cutouts, no disruptions, there's no nothing. So basically, things are working. Am I brave enough to get out of this eeny meeny tiny cockpit? Wow, that twisted my neck there. And step out to prevent some nicotine deprivation. Well, at the moment, yes, I am. Because I just checked um, uh, uh, the computer system. <coughs> I checked the uh, internet connection. And everything seems to be back into working order how is that even possible compared to last week and a week before and a week before that where i had to actually do nine attempts to fly one video live good lord so yeah uh, that is about what we are doing but first we're uh, going to set the heading correctly we are going off course go on now and we are also too high so let's roll get down there in a hurry to our designated altitude and get going. Uh, GPS is not yet responsive, so let's do that manually. It needs to de uh, detect the magenta line, and we are far from it. Wow. 
when we roll the heading knob we should be getting closer to it quite rapidly by the way who turned off the autopilot all right I will be back in just a few minutes for the rest of the flight And we're back, but apparently that little heading trick did not work today. So we're turning back towards the magenta line again. 
I should have pushed nav. So let's do that right now. We're not too far off, but still far enough off. So in theory, the aircraft is now searching for the magenta line while being on heading on autopilot and the altitude is set to 8000. And Freddy is way ahead of us. Let's throttle up a little bit and try to catch up with him. Knowing Freddy, he probably did a flight earlier. And seeing that he is at 11,000 feet and climbing, let's follow that example. Let's go there. Let's try and keep up. Boltzmann Freddy, whereabouts are you? Can confirm, I can hear you now and everybody on YouTube can hear you now. Uh, yeah, I had the same thing earlier while testing and didn't hear myself. So it's not just you, it is uh, both of us. And because I'm starting to test at 8 p.m., uh, 8 a.m., sorry, I kind of sort of figured that out before the flight started. <laughs> Thirteen five without any oxygen on board. You must have been uh, slightly lightheaded. Sure, blame it on the martinis. Uh, next thing you know, you're going to blame it on Mrs. Hep. Anyway, let's go try to find us. I sure hope that you took the time to drop a couple of uh, flower bombs. And we should be making a turn right about now. We're back on the magenta line, so let's check it out from inside the cockpit. I have not yet, because I'm already grateful, thankfully on my knees, praying to the Lord that the connection is still stable.
Uh, yes, sir, I did. Uh, so I'm glad that the connection is stable again, that I was able to reinstall Windows. I uh, did not install the faulty update. So, uh, yeah, we're back online. We're back in business. Yahoo! I did a test flight yesterday just to catch up with you guys and uh, I was so freaking happy uh, that stuff started to work again that I was actually becoming a little bit overconfident. And that is why the, uh, the video is in two parts. I tried to change the weather. I was overconfident. Can confirm uh, live weather and the time has been set to um, roughly 9 p.m. AM, AM, AM. Hundred and ninety five miles to go to the first waypoint. Yeah, I think we're uh, seeing roughly the same things out there then. No, oh, there he is. Now in a good while, uh, if you're watching the stream, I'm going to turn south to avoid the highest mountain peaks. Are you joining me there or are you going to go straight to the airport? Um, you should uh, set up your flight next time. Um, of course, you punch in the destination and the departure, uh, everything like that. But then in the left top hand corner, you can also select a uh, direct route. You can select uh, high altitude airways and low altitude airways. If you choose a low altitude airways, it gets you around most of the altitude trouble. Uh, yeah, I'm talking IFR, instrument flying rules. Have you got any pen and paper ready? You can actually still punch in the flight plan if you like. Or simply follow me. <laughs> Oh, it may be nice, but it's got to be slightly realistic, doesn't it? Speaking of which, uh, we are about to approach the mountains, so I think I'm... You can't hear you. How's that?
Well, that's weird. Uh, everything is supposed to work. Uh, let me push this sound on on my laptop, which is a few feet away, um, to hear what you are hearing. Because that's on a different network and that is basically my uh, uh, yeah, my go-to monitor. Waiting for the delay. Waiting for the delay. Well, that's weird. I don't hear you on YouTube either. Something must be off. Uh, why is that not recording? Hmm. Yeah, folks, that is weird again. Hi. How about we try that now? Don't bother. Yeah, I have my, I have just now, I think I was on now. One, two, three, four, five, testing, testing. Listening. I got you on YouTube. Uh, there was one setting uh, slightly off in OBS. Yeah, I have myself on YouTube now. Which is a good thing because uh, you are a great singer and everybody should be able to enjoy your voice. No Lord Hart today? No, I haven't seen him yet. Have you? Lord Hart is not the only one that is missing. I'm not seeing you either. I've just crashed. That's never, ever happened before. I'm going back to the front screen. It's loading up again. So I'm uh, uh, yeah, try that thingy uh, with uh, the low altitude airways then. 
Okay, once I get it loaded up here. And I was just about to mention that maybe Lord Harth crashed, burned and died. And then you did. Uh, what's up with that? <laughs> Come on now. Yes, never happened before. Has it? Quite confused. Oh, I'm convinced that you have uh, crashed, burned and died before uh, when you were just learning to fly. It's never gone back to the front screen. It's never ever done that. Maybe I've crashed, burned and died because I couldn't fly the thing. Are your uh, complete simulator died? Or did you crash into a mountain? No, the simulator's died. It's it's loading up again. The trouble you had last week, you must be infectious, Bram. Must be infectious. Aye. That is bad. And partially the reason why I did not uh, get the latest updates. Oh, well, it is. I have got all the latest updates. I was... So, let's see. It took me a full night to uh, reinstall a uh, flight simulator altogether with all the uh, regional uh, handcrafted uh, uh, scenery. So, I'm already glad that the system is still stable. Okay. I'll just uh, see what I can do here, Lord, I was loading up now. If you still remember the area we are in, uh, you should be able to find me and spawn in the air near me. Yeah, will do. And then just follow me in. in what is it? A couple of hours <laughs> of flying, uh, but then uh, yeah, we're going to go places. Next stop after this one is Indonesia. And we are going to 118.8 again because I cannot find myself on the map anymore. We are not sure what is going on, but we are going to find out for sure. Uh, but let's do one more attempt here. Zulu uniform, uniform, uniform. Eh. Oh, here I am. Ha ha. No need to bother him. And that is, by the way, the map on Fat Spy, folks. So th that should be accurate. And there he is again inside, Freddy Hap, the man, the myth, the legend, the singer. 
and by the way to everybody who is listening to this message right now go to Freddy Hab's uh, uh, YouTube account Freddy leave your uh, account in the comments below because this guy can actually sing so I'm the first subscriber he has ever gotten I know that because he had zero and after I clicked subscribe he was on one get him to a million subscribers folks do it right now even if you have to stop the video for a few seconds you want to be my manager bro only if you let me uh, play the drums as well Okay. I kind of taught myself how to play the drums. Actually, uh, made it into a band. Um, but after that, yeah, it was slow going, uh, and I reverted back to sound management. By the way, that was in the church that I have left years ago. Now watch me getting stable, I think. Well, let's uh, hope so, because um, if you're now stable, something is up uh, indeed. Um, Considering the updates that uh, Flight Simulator gave us last week, which completely annihilated my simulator, I certainly do not want that to happen to you. Well, I think that just happened, but anyway, that's it. That's me back online anyway. Speaking of stuff about to happen, I'm going to deviate from the magenta line and go straight south. And that is just to avoid the mountain peaks where you cannot breathe anymore. Yeah, you'd be okay at 13.5, you know. Uh, yeah, but just look at the YouTube I'm going to show you. I don't have any ox oxygen on board and you cannot breathe above 10,000 feet. I'm going to show that. These are clear. Pockets are empty. So there's no extra oxygen on board. I And to keep things relatively realistic, we are going to go south, south, south. And then a little bit more south to avoid peaks. And then eventually going back to the magenta line and sort stuff out <laughs> by the way let's listen into the channel of Tianfu Tower Let's harass them a little bit.
Tian Foot Tower, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima, why don't you come and join us in the air? <laughs> this could get nasty. I may get a aviational bollocking. That is if I use the right channel. Tian Fu Tower, Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima. And why don't you come join us in the air? It is very quiet over there. Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Lima, you mean join your channel? Now actually grab a plane and come join us. Right. Uh, well, actually I'm quite busy now, so uh, you are not in my airspace, so I cannot provide any service to you, unfortunately. Uh, I was thinking that maybe you got some laptop over there and you can join us in the air with a another Cessna 172 and complete the journey of China with, the, with us wow that's that, that, that's a that's a big achievement Yeah, after today there's not a whole lot of chances anymore because then we're first going to fly Indonesia and Australia before we come back. Right. So, controller and all stations, grab yourself a Cessna 172 and come join us. <laughs> That's a great idea. The greatest would be in the final airport, which is in the United Kingdom, London, if we land there with 70 or more Cessna 172s at the same time. That is going to give them a heart attack in tower. Wow, in London Heathrow or Gatwick? Uh, Heathrow uh, refused me in the previous attempt. Uh, and I did the same route, uh, but Gatwick, uh, they were very welcoming. Oh, I see. So call all your buddies, uh, everybody join in, and here we go. We're going to invade London. <laughs> right, I will see what I can do. You must have a massive network, sir, so let's go. Alright. And Papa Hotel Bravo Vector Gamer, actually we have a TeamSpeak. Uh, do you have this software, TeamSpeak? I am aware of the uh, existence of TeamSpeak, but I'm uh, using Discord myself. And the uh, link to my Discord is in the description below the video. Right. Um, there are a TeamSpeak IP address in for uh, for China Vaccine. So I guess you can have you can tell everyone in there that's uh, what you are planning for. How about you tell everybody to come and join us in flight? Okay, I guess that is an option. Uh, yeah, because if I dare even to do as much as open uh, Google Chrome, then my simulator will crash. I do not have a high-end PC. I have a low-end PC. 
Oh, I see. So you are, uh, which simulator are you flying? Are you flying with X-Plane or P3D? I'm flying Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with the latest updates on a Windows 11 machine. Oh, I see. <coughs> but that is uh, also about all it can take. Yeah, I think so. Hey, look at that. Freddy is falling behind. What happened, Freddy? Didn't you get your mixture right? Freddy, what is your current speed, please? Ninety. Ninety miles an hour. Okay, play with your uh, mixture a little bit because I'm doing 92 and that is a 115 true airspeed TAS. By the way, uh, did you hear me get a Chinese guy in trouble? <laughs> uh, he is thinking really hard right now about how to get his whole network to join me. <coughs> I, I didn't hear it on my earphones, but uh, I did hear it on, I heard you speaking to somebody on uh, YouTube. Yeah, that wasn't on uh, Discord, that was uh, purely uh, YouTube indeed. And V pilot. So, what's she going to do? Uh, going south uh, at the moment to avoid the highest peaks and then go around them and get back to the magenta line. That's the plan. No, what's the Chinese guy going to do? Well, hopefully he is going to activate the whole of China that they're all going to follow me. That'll be good. There's <laughs> only uh, 16 gazillion Chinese folks there. If they're all just willing to click on a subscribe, then I would be happy within a week. Ah, oh, very good. I hope you get it. And the same to you, sir. Uh, so, how many songs are you uh, going to upload to your channel? I've got hundreds. I've got hundreds. Since I retired, I've been on the keyboard most of the time and mucking about with the... the Ableton... digital... Uh, channels. Yeah, because uh, the one thing, the, the, the one song that you asked me to upload on my channel, that has been doing great. I'm convinced that you can get over a thousand subs and uh, 4,000 hours per year of uh, public watching time. Uh, and get a few extra quid for just uploading. Oh well, I'll keep uploading, but I, I really don't understand what goes on with the, the subs and the payment, the monetizing stuff. I'm not really too interested in that. It'd be handy, like. Well, it's easy. You upload videos. And as soon as you do, people can see him. Now, uh, if enough people see him and like him, uh, YouTube algorithm will uh, suggest to other people, hey, you might like to see this. And then more people come and more people will watch. Then after that, uh, people 
can already and obviously subscribe and when that is happening uh, you will see it go from 1 to 2 to 10 to 100 and I'm thinking I am now after a year at about 128 because I'm in a niche market not the music business um, then uh, your goal is to get to 1000 subscribers plus 4000 hours of uh, public viewing time because YouTube is always interfering everybody with uh, commercials now you get 55% of the revenue of the commercials when those criteria are met that is free money for doing zilch I don't think that'll come off. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get a thousand, nothing like it. I've hardly any as it is. Well, you got one, that's me. Uh, but uh, oh. I do see that you forgot about the tags underneath the videos. And that uh, does help the algorithm to promote your music to the people that want to hear that music let's say hashtag country let's say uh, hashtag Elvis I don't know anything goes basically so then when people punch in Elvis uh, they get to see you instead of uh, Presley himself uh, well I did, I have filled in all the hashtags with what you said, the name of the song, the singer did it before, I've done all that, but it says on YouTube itself, it, it's pretty irrelevant. Correct, it does say that, uh, to uh, deter people from uh, filling YouTube with hashtags. Uh, because that makes uh, life difficult for the uh, uh, algorithm and well I've got a lot of tags and hashtags underneath my videos and last week when I was unable to upload even that got me more subscribers and I've only been busy this year and before that it was just hobby uploads every now and then uh, but now since I have been uh, busy weekly um, yeah what happened I went from uh, 12 to 128 subscribers in less than a year performing my hobby that's it all I did was uh, fly and talk to you guys oh well I'll just keep uploading then plenty of stuff to upload and besides that uh, it's not just uh, the uploading stuff it's also the memory because in 2000 years that will still be online so make sure to give a good legacy sir and I am the first one to fly the Cessna 172 around the world online so that is my legacy going to be oh well very good very good by the way how is mrs. Hep doing she's not doing so well she fell the other day and she's to hurt her back so is oh she's okay like she's not dying or anything she just hurt her back please give her my best wishes well do bram
Uh, a couple of years back, my dad fell, broke his hip, uh, and eventually that cost him his life. So I'm hoping that it is not happening to Mrs. Hep. Oh, don't say that. No, no, it's nothing as serious as that. So how serious are we talking? Like a uh, flu serious, uh, a cold serious, or uh, just a bruise serious? I'm worried about Mrs. Happy because, uh, yeah, you're a musician. And everybody knows musicians cannot take care of themselves. <laughs> Sorry mate, I could not resist. I can manage Phil, I can manage. We're coming into the big, the big peaks now. Yeah, you may be coming up to them. Uh, I'm not. I'm going south. I'm going around them. And if I keep up this route for long enough I can rejoin the magenta line at Tufki or maybe Nixus look at that that is very dark on the chart if all else fails uh, we can aim for Delta Julia Tango then I'll tell you what I have got since the new upgrade I am now running at 44 frames per second. Forty-four frames is uh, uh, pretty okay when you are not streaming. When you are streaming, you want 30. Uh, high resolution uh, demands 60. Um, but your graphics card has to be able to handle that and that is why I am trying to get another one but there's an issue in trying to get another graphics card yeah they're very pricey things that graphics card 350 quid That's more than this com my computer. I just bought this computer about six, seven months ago. I was, that's what I was, about 350 quid for it. And it's, I think it's, uh, it's an i7 processor. And is it five, a GeForce 5 card? I've got a GeForce uh, GT1030. Uh, the 1030 and that is barely able to play the game while upstreaming so I've ordered a different one with my financial caretaker and the reason I got that one is because my ex is trying to steal uh, 21,000 quid from me and the only way to uh, prevent that was a lawsuit and uh, uh, making sure the financial caretaker uh, took everything over and he simply refuses to pay. He's a good man. Is this going on YouTube? I firm, it is live on YouTube. My ex is a bitch, so she should know. And this is going to be online for another thousand years. Ha! I don't know what to say to you, Bram. I don't know what to say. 
Well, I will kill you over a penny of difference, uh, so let alone 18,000 quid. I just looked up my car, it's, it's a 1050i or 1050t, whatever that is. Uh, to me, uh, that means you got a better card than me and you're not even uploading. I'm going for the GTX uh, series right now. There's a bit of clouds ahead. Uh, you're on live weather as well. Oh yes, I see you as well. Getting a bit windy too. I don't have wind or turbulence yet. But if there is going to be turbulence. I'm going to play your song. Whole lot of shaking going on. It was the first song I ever played when I was 19 years old. Uh, then either you've been playing that for quite a while or you did not dry up properly after birth. Anyway, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to crash, burn and die in the next few minutes. So I'm going to step out and make sure that I am not going to get a nicotine deprivation. Be right back folks.
来玩好，四川六八拐拐，无线电台。四川的六八拐拐，晚上好，天府塔台这边听你五个。